Hi, my name is Ashish. In this video, we will see how to deploy code to a virtual machine using AWS Code Deploy. Do not forget to visit the SR Cloud Chef channel on the YouTube and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified as and when I deploy the new video. Thank you. So let me just quickly log on to the Amazon console and take it from there. I am inside the Amazon console. First of all, you will have to if you wish, if you want to create a new key pair that you will use uh, in deploying, uh, in accessing your virtual machine and then deploying the code. So uh, you will have to go to the services and click on code deploy. If you have visited it before, you will see that in your history. And if you will not click on services in the drop down, you can enter the code deploy here and you can click on it like we were in code deploy if you have already created the applications you would see it here if you have not click on getting started create an application application name would be test and you will be deploying it on ec2 you can deploy it on aws lambda you can deploy it on amazon ecs but for this lab let's stick on ec2 create an application right before we proceed you would have that virtual machine up and running before to deploy that code so if you don't have it, you can create a virtual machine. In my previous video, I showed you how to create a virtual machine. You can use either use the Linux AMI or you can use the Windows AMI. After you're done with your virtual machine, it is up and running. You are able to connect it using Puri or Puri as you like it. Go back to code deploy again. Click on applications. You would see your application. You create a test. Click on that. You have to create a deployment group. Uh, test dg you can type in any name you would have to have the service role which would have the code deploy permission that grants aws code deploy access to the target instance you would have you would have to create a service role before and give the necessary permissions so that it can have the permissions to it can grant the aws code deploy permission to deploy the code on the ec2 instances you can choose uh, the deployment type as in place or blue green in place in where it will the updates the instances in the deployment group with the latest application revision during a deployment each instance will be briefly taken offline one by one in the blue green deployment what it does it it replaces the instance within the deployment group with the new instances and deploys the latest application revision to them after instances in the replacement environment are registered with the load balancer instances from the original environment are deregistered and can be terminated so it will keep your old application up and running without the latest code but this will have to take your instance offline one by one while it will be deploying a new code onto the instances so you would say amazon ec2 instances you can add a tag you can add a tag group and that's how you would well, they have the importance of creating a tag when you will be creating an EC2 instances it will be picked up here deployment settings as you choose you would have to have the application load balancer or you would have the classic if you don't want it uncheck it you would be able to create a deployment group when you will have the uh, deployment group you will have to create the deployment you would pick your deployment group application name is test you are deployed deploying the code on the ec2 instances which is on the amazon uh, web services you can also deploy it on the on-prem servers here uh, you will select if your code is present on the amazon s3 bucket or it will be in github if you are uh, mentioning the github account you would have to mention your github account token name and then you would let's say i pick it my github token name here then you would have to make enter the repository name and the commit id from your github uh, repository and enter the values here when you will connect to github it will ask for the permission to authorize amazon to access the github account that you have mentioned the token name would be authorized to have the pull the code from the github account and it be using amazon s3 just mention the name of the bucket and the folder in which the code resides uh, these are some advanced settings that you can use if you want to deployment group override you want to have the additional deployment behavior settings you want to roll back the configuration and after that you will create the deployment then you can deploy the code using the code deploy onto your uh, ec2 instances either or uh, they are stored 
hosted on prem or on the cloud but you can do it from the amazon so this was the short video explaining you guys how to deploy the code to a virtual machine using amazon code deploy i hope this was informative to all of you please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have any feedbacks please mention them in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then have a good day ahead bye bye